Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Strange Exchange, where I talk about tidbits of random news in gaming and entertainment that happens to have sparked my interest lately. It was announced this week that Microsoft and Xbox will be doing a press conference at Gamescom this August. Now why is this important? Well, Microsoft hasn't done a press conference at Gamescom since 2005, so needless to say they really haven't had a presence at Gamescom and it's kind of odd for them to be doing a press conference now. But when you think about it, they're probably taking this opportunity to make up for lost ground from E3 and to make even more clarifications about their policy changes to the Xbox One, which I don't really care about anymore because after they made their recent changes to the Xbox One, I personally think they took a step backwards from what next-gen consoles are supposed to be. So what I'm interested in hearing about are the games. Give us some games at Gamescom and I'll be happy. And I will be keeping up with Gamescom to try and see if there's any news or announcements about games, particularly Titanfall and The Witcher 3, because those ones are high on my list right now. So I'm looking forward to that. So let me know if you guys are looking forward to Gamescom and hearing some new announcements in the comments below. Today, the Xbox 360 opened beta registration for its upcoming changes to the Xbox 360 dashboard. But as quickly as the beta registration opened, it closed again due to overwhelming participation. Xbox Live's Major Nelson said to follow him on Twitter in case they happen to reopen beta signups to try out the new Xbox 360 dashboard. So if you're looking forward to the new 360 dashboard, let me know in the comments below. Xbox Live's Ultimate Game Sale is currently underway, so if you want to get discounts on games like Tomb Raider, Bioshock Infinite, and Gears of War Judgment, just to name a few, you better make your purchases by Monday, July 8th. Now, during the sale this week, I snagged myself a discount copy of The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings in anticipation for the upcoming Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And based on what I've experienced of The Witcher 2 so far, I think The Witcher 3 is going to be amazing, especially because they're making it open world. So if you guys are as excited as I am for The Witcher 3, let me know in the comments below and I just might do a video preview of the game when it comes closer to the release time. Now speaking of game sales, I know you're all anxiously waiting to overstock your inventories full of $2 games that you're not going to play. You know what I'm talking about. The Steam Summer Sale is just around the corner and a lot of people were thinking it was going to start either July 4th or July 11th. Now it obviously didn't begin on July 4th, so I'm predicting that the Steam Summer Sale is going to start this Thursday, July 11th. Fingers crossed. Now based on their summer sales of the previous years, they usually begin it either at the end of June or at the beginning of July, and it's always been on a Thursday, so this fits with their little schema for what they've done in previous years, but we're going to have to wait and see. I'm really excited though for the Steam Summer Sale because I have a whole wish list full of games that I've been anxiously waiting to buy. So if you're anxiously awaiting the Steam Summer Sale right alongside with me, let me know what games you're looking forward to buying in the comments below. Lastly, Fez is finally getting a patch update on the Xbox 360. Now, normally patches are a good thing, but the last time Fez got a patch, it pretty much corrupted a bunch of people's save files, causing them to pull the game from the Xbox Live Marketplace. So hopefully this time that won't happen and the patch will be successful. Now, I'm a huge Fez fangirl, and when I saw the Fez 2 trailer, I might have almost peed my pants just a little bit. So as much as I like to see Fez getting patched, I want to see Fez 2 come out sometime in the near future before I die, so uh, Phil Fish, please get on that. Phil Fish did say that he does not want to release Fez 2 on the Xbox One due to their generally uninviting nature toward indie games, so we'll probably see Fez 2 on the PS4 if it ever comes out in the near future. Now since we're on the topic of puzzle games, I just want to mention one last thing. I'm going to be starting a new series where I showcase puzzle games, both old and new, because lately I've just been playing a ton of puzzle games, so I really want to talk about them on my channel, and I want you guys to experience some of the games that I've been playing. So um, if you guys are looking forward to seeing some puzzle games on my channel, let me know in the comments below. So that pretty much wraps up this episode of The Strange Exchange. Thank you so much for watching. Stay strange, my loves, and until next time, this is Strange Love signing out. Bye!